here. Welcome back to my channel. Thanks for joining Makeup University today. Hey, if you haven't subscribed yet, boop, boop, would you subscribe and ding the bell so you don't miss an upload? Uploads are usually Tuesdays and Wednesdays, Resolve Tuesday, Wine Wednesday. Today, I want to talk to you about this wine, and it really is a lesson in being present, <laughs> not being distracted, <sighs> being present. So, I have had a really beautiful, busy schedule. It's been lots of travel. I'm so grateful. I've been working some great gigs. But at the same time, my son is wrapping out school, getting ready to graduate. There's testing. We're working on things for his blah, 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 blah. Get it? Things with work, things with family, all these things going on. I knew that when I came in off the road from a recent gig that I would just want to relax have a glass of wine, sit in my chair, reflect, read, sip a wine, right? Sounds great. Okay. So in a rush and a hurry down to the millisecond of getting to town, getting in time to pick up my son from school, I zip into the Safeway to grab some red wine. Let us take a closer look. See that? <laughs> The other reason that there's kind of a sideways lesson in, please learn from my mistakes, that I'm doing a financial test, um, or maybe it's not a test, uh, I want to plug the leaks in my budget. And so the financial test is to only use cash. I give myself a cash budget for the week and I have to use the cash. There's no more sipping my card and getting those last little tchotchkes and things that I want. So here's the deal. I'm going to honor the financial test and see if using cash only will stop just, I would call it leaks, maybe even bleeding. I don't know. I just know that I'm really aggressively saving for some projects and I just had to plug the leaks in the budget. So I'm only using cash. So when I got to Safeway and I'm going to grab a bottle of Apothic, which was $9.98, on sale at Safeway and um, I realize I don't have enough cash. <laughs> no problem. I'm going to grab a bottle of Yellowtail or something. All of this is happening like lickety split in my mind. So when it came time to grab a bottle, I remember Behringer is, um, I would call it a cousin to two buck chuck. I wish it was two bucks, but it um, has traditionally been like at the Walmart 327. They recently raised the price 447. I feel like, dang, why the big price increase? Don't worry. I'm getting to the wine review. Um, the Safeway is always super expensive and it's the close, it's the store on the way. Like I'm driving from home, I can zip into Safeway, get that bottle of wine and then get my son at his school. I have to go all the way across town to go to Walmart. Not going to happen. Long story short, I was distracted. I'm going to honor the commitment to use cash only, but I was very distracted and in a hurry. And I knew that I had literally like $5 and some change. True story. And I wasn't going to use the card. And so this was actually $5.27 or $5.47. And I had exactly that in cash. And it was how I ended the week. So the good news is I honored the budget test. I used only cash. I made it to Friday. And literally had not one piece of cash left, but I've met all the needs and even the wants. And oh, when I was distracted, I saw the name Behringer. I know you, you're a good budget value wine. Merlot, you're mine. Let's go. Get home. I'm like, oh, this looks different. It wasn't like a rich red, which makes me think, self, how distracted were you? <sighs> Be mindful, deep breath that you didn't notice that it wasn't a deep red. It was a light red, not like a rosé. It was red enough that it fooled me when I was in a hurry, not paying attention. I was looking at the price and just thinking, calculating how much cash I really had. I brought home a white Merlot. It, I would call a second cousin twice removed from a rosé or a Zinfandel. It was not sweet like in Zinfandel. Um, the first glad I, glass I had was warm and it just went down like NyQuil and not even NyQuil, like the dollar store version of nighttime cold medicine is what a warm glass of 
white Merlot from Behringer tasted like. And I'm not saying that to be mean. I'm saying that to be truthful. So then I read the back. Uh, there's not really any notes here, but I was looking up white Merlot, <laughs> the Googleations, and that's where I saw that, oh, you serve it chilled. Chilled, it went down a little bit better. But I was super upset that, wow, I had my last few pieces of cash and I spent it on white Merlot. I wouldn't buy it twice. I think if you like white wine, if you like Zinfandel, if you are a rosé all day kind of drinker in your wines, I think you'll really like it. The interesting thing about this bottle is that once I got over the fact that I mistakenly bought a white Merlot, basically a white wine. I don't like white wine. Once I got over all that fact, it's okay. I wouldn't do it twice. I just think that this is for the person who likes a dry, semi-tart finish to a cold, refreshing wine. How about that? Behringer's Main and Vine, white Merlot. I wouldn't do it twice. Uh, it's still under $10, so that fits what we're doing. But it's definitely for the girl, the guy who drinks rosé, Zinfandel, or white wine. Okay, sounds like the... Um, Neighbor is really starting to ramp up their repair efforts. So I'm going to go ahead and say goodbye for now. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you being here. Hey, really, let me know in the comments. Is there a great $10 wine that you like and enjoy? And if you're going to send me to another store, totally fine. I normally shop at the Walmarts or Safeway because that's what my town has. But if you want to send me somewhere else, maybe I can make it and I'll try your wine too. Hey everybody, thank you so much for watching. I'm Cheryl Lynn. This is Makeup University, and remember, you look really gorgeous today.